We have spoken about the variety and importance of concepts before and have even looked into some darker ones. However, there are multiple ways to do dark. A fantastic example is Purple Kiss, who consistently serve dark but elegant concepts, sometimes with a playful twist. Purple Kiss debuted as a seven-member group under Rainbow Entertainment in 2021. They recently came back with Sweet Juice in their six-member lineup. Since their debut, and even before, they have explored a number of sounds, yet there's always something recognizable about their sound. They have worked with a variety of producers and songwriters, but did you know that the Purple Kiss members also contribute within the writing? Uki is known to write her raps, Chain, Goyon and Swan all had music and lyric credits since their very debut, and Dozy got credited on their most recent mini-album as well. Something noticeable about Purple Kiss is the darkness of their songs, yet this darkness is done in a very particular way. While for a lot of people dark may be equal to horror, Purple Kiss take it in a much more elegant direction. Sometimes they lean into that elegance both visually and sonically, while other times they put a playful twist on it. Either way, some elements stood out to us as near omnipresent in their discography, so let's break them down. As a fairly young group still, Purple Kiss have had a handful of comebacks. However, with each title track they promote great b-sides, and we wanted to pay particular attention to their intros. So what are the hallmarks of Purple Kiss's sound? Firstly, a lot of people consider their general concept as being on the darker side. However, they also have a certain lightness to their sound. Many of their songs might sound a bit dark, but they're often very gracious and sometimes also playful. This perfectly supports the witchy imagery they depict in many of their trailers. So how does this dark but not too dark and fun but not bright combination work at all? A number of things can contribute to a dark overall sound. We need to look no farther than the Ponsona dance break. Unsettling, minimalistic, strong beat, distorted 808 bass, filtered and distorted background vocals and even a scream. They explored this sound even further in M.E.M.E.M. However, even there, there's a certain elegance which many would not necessarily expect from a typical girl course concept. How does this work? Two things stand out here. The melodies are written beautifully with long vowels, which suit the next aspect we want to point out, the vocal performance. The vocals are light but haunting, going with the theme of dark elegance. All the members have beautiful vocal colors and of course the skills to showcase those. Such vocals are also the driving point of some of their intros and perfectly serve not only the comebacks they're associated with, but Purple Kiss's overall image. Write me deeper, crazier than ever Every single moment Part is over Who was the savior? Dripping, dripping Purple drills We also can't forget the airy background vocals which sound almost ghostly at times When you say Additionally, to their vocals, Purple Kiss often have sound choices which reflect the dark but elegant sound as well. Violins and minor key songs are an easy choice for adding beautiful drama. They could be aggressive, like in Pretty Psycho, which has a short sample from Beethoven's Symphony No. 5. But they could also be used in long, swelling chords form. Or we could use a more modern sound to achieve a similar effect. Purple 
You can also hear piano melodies which support the concept. <laughs> Another way to add a little bit of darkness in a song is by utilizing certain scales and modes. An example is using the harmonic minor scale, which has a sharp seventh adding a very particular flavor. Here is how Purple Kiss uses it. And we could even occasionally swap to Phrygian, which is one of the darkest modes. As you can hear, there are plenty of dark elements in Purple Kiss songs which are often uplifted by their elegant touch. However, they take it even further and often add a playful twist on this darkness. How do they achieve this? We just spoke about utilizing scales and modes to make a song darker, but we can do the opposite as well. Nerd is in G minor, however we can hear small elements of the song in the major scale. This model mixture lifts up the mood just for a moment and makes the dark sound less scary and more whimsical. There's one big aspect of music Purple Kiss utilize a lot, which adds a particular upbeat feel to their otherwise fairly dark songs. Do you remember which element is crucial for danceability? Exactly, it's the groove. We have broken down groovy K-pop songs before, but to recap, they usually consist of straightforward drums and bass lines which play with the space between the drums. Groove is a very common feature of Purple Kiss tracks, with a number of them leaning heavily into it. In others, we hear a more balanced compromise between dark and groovy. But even their elegant songs have groovy sections. Purple Kiss, an outstanding new group with a recognizable sound which perfectly combines darkness, elegance and groove. What is your favorite Purple Kiss song? Let us know in the comments below. Like this video and subscribe for more and if you want to work with us get in touch, info is in the description below.